Farm sim. We're doing farm sim. Okay, bye, Demos. All right, so last time on Farm Sim, there was a lot of contracts to do. I have since done almost all of the contracts, and then I moved forward a month and did all of those contracts as well. So you may notice right above my head, up there, I have a lot of money. I have $401,000 because I've done a lot of contracts that mostly involve spraying and fertilizing. Uh, this is least. I mentioned last time that I'd probably end up getting this if I ended up doing all the spraying contracts, which I did indeed do. So we got that. Um, I have a couple plans that I'd like to do for today. They mostly involve making sure that we're ready for the upcoming harvests, as well as all of the various other things that we need to do. Uh, so let's double check all of our fields. So we've got oats in 45 and 46. We've got sunflowers in 47. 48 and 49 are both corn and 50 is sugar beet. So we've got quite the eclectic variety of crops here. Uh, and then of course we have 44 as grass. Um, growth is all early stages. Um, we have no weeds. Weeds are fine. Um, rolling. I must have missed doing that for the uh, for the, the corn, that's fine. Whatever. It's fine. So, fertilization. 49 needs some fertilization. I don't have any natural means. So I'm just going to have to suck it up and do some chemical fertilizing for now. I know I said I'd do mostly natural. I just don't have any options for that right now. So, this will be one of the few times. Grow them GMOs. And this is going to take all of like three seconds, so. Yeah, no. Uh, yeah, okay. So we're, we're doing. Here. This isn't even the right width. There we go. Let's, let's do that correctly. Yeah, there are actual random NPCs in Farm Sim. It does happen. They do exist. Alright, so all the darkened spots are where the fertilizer was actually needed. And I think that's it. Yep, 49 48 are now fully fertilized. This is good. That's all that was needed there. So, minimal chemical fertilizing. And I could have easily done without and just left it and not had as good of a crop, but it's fine. I'm okay with a little bit of chemicals in my food. So we are in, we are in May. Barley, we're not selling. Soybeans are due in June, so that's kind of what I'm waiting for. The current price on soybeans is 3,200 at Goldcrest Valley, or uh, 2,800 nearby. Yep, those vegetables have 0.75% chemicals in them, and that's fine. That's an acceptable level of chemical. Um, let's see. Eggs we don't have very many of, but those aren't due to sell until November. Yeah, we have a little bit of silage, but that's not until January. Um, we have 
a lot of honey. Like, a lot of honey. But that's March. Um, could potentially sell it now anyway. Because that's not too bad of a price. Yeah, let's sell it anyway. Alright. We're going to do that. And to do that, I'm going to buy the thing that I've been saying I'm going to buy for quite some time and I just haven't done it yet. I'm going to buy a forklift. Because I have a lot of honey to deal with. So we're going to buy a forklift. And it's going to be with a trailer hitch in case I want to use it. Wheel brand. Let's go with Nokian because I like them. With or without safety warning light. Sure, why not? Fair enough, Demos. Have yourself a good night. Thanks for hanging out. Alright, and let's let's color this thing. Purple. Design color. Green. Because why not? Hello, Sparkle. Hello. Icarus is done. I did forget to change my game title. There we go. All done. Alright, so I'm gonna buy this thing. Rim color. I want green. Yeah, let's do green rims. Purple rims? Green rims. Definitely green rims. Yeah. Alright. We're gonna buy it outright because I'm gonna use it a lot, I think. So the fun, the fun thing about this forklift, aside from the fact that it can just go up and up and up and up and go really friggin' high, uh, it also has this lovely feature. It can do, it can do two for, uh, pallets side by side. I thought that was kind of neat, and it's fast, 43 kph versus the, like, 20 of the base game ones. So, yeah. New forklift. We'll zoom. I'm doing... I'm doing good. I'm doing good. I, uh... inadvertently took the day off of work today due to my horrible sleep schedule last night. But it's fine. Right, let's pull this thing out of the weeds. this thing pull this trailer and uh, especially while it's overloaded can that happen? Because I know it can pull the trailer, no problem. But, can it do it when it's loaded? Alright, so we're going to park you over here. Shit day for sleep today. That seems like that's going around, unfortunately. Okay, so let's see, first off, if this thing can handle as many pallets as I want to throw at it. Because I've got two stacks, I've got four four pallets here. Uh, <laughs> So, 
that, that. Is that good? Not gonna work. I think it needs to go up a little bit. Hmm. Up and forward? No. Up and tilty? You're just gonna not be cooperative, are you? Alright. That's cool. I didn't want that to work anyway. Cool, fine. Be that way. Um, I think it's just an issue with getting the forks to line up right. And I know this game currently has an issue with um, with pallets. For whatever reason, they don't like to cooperate. And they get stuck on stuff. And then shenanigans ensues. Alright, so that one got stuck. Now I shove it on there like that. Okay, well, this isn't working out according to plan. But it's fine. Probably should stick with one wide for now. At least until we we'll figure out the whole pallet situation. So let's let's do that. We'll stick with one wide for now. This will be my first and only load with two. That doesn't sound like that would be very successful self-defense sparkle. Get this back. Get these back. Right, let's see if we can rescue one pellet at a time from the top here. I might have to whip out the super strength if they're going to be very uncooperative. We'll just leave it as is for now. I'll have to go get that in a moment here. I misaligned that. I misaligned that horribly. Let's try that again. Better alignment this time. There we go. Okay. So let's uh, let's do the other ones. Stacks of two, but only one wide at a time, just to avoid complications. Cookie place in town. That sounds awesome. I like cookies. Cookies are good. Oh, 
probably should have the thing on this side, shouldn't I? Because this is where they all are. Ah, that's fine. This thing moves fast enough. Go of my. Gonna, gonna not let go? Hmm? Is that, is that what we're doing here? I think, I think it's not gonna let go. Come on, let go. Let go. Let go. Let go. Let go. There we go. First try. Hey, Knight, if real if real space pellets are more cooperative than farm sim ones, we'll be fine. These ones might be tricky, because I did not leave myself much room, so we're going to have to, we're going to have to do like a 57 point turn here. the forks. You're fine. You will survive your forky trip. That worked pretty well. Okay, so that is all of my honey pallets. Uh, let me double check to make sure there aren't any over here. Nope, we're good. Okay. So this can just get parked right here. Eh. Assuming I can drive. Driving is important. Yeah, we're just going to take this up with a truck? Tractor? Truck? Truck will be fine. Truck won't be fine because I forgot truck does not have this type of hitch. Tractor it is then.
Okay. Onward to the fast food restaurant, wherever that is. Where are you? Oh. I could have literally done it faster by just forklifting the things directly there. <sighs> it's fine. Ooh. Almost lost that. Alright, fast food restaurant. I have honey for you. Bonk. Alright, so almost 15,000 from my, my pent up honey collection, which is just fine considering it's purely passive income. Trailer can go, I don't know, here? Sure. There. There's fine. Alright, so what else do we have to do today? Um, I have a little bit of fertilizing to do across here if I want to do that. Let's get that moving. Just a little bit. You like the floating pallet? I like the floating pallet too. They're um They're they're nice reminders of what this game truly is. It's been done. Perfect. So all of my fields are essentially done. I don't have to worry about anything else. Uh, the first harvest, um, July. We got the oats coming in July. And then looks like everything else is gonna be October. The corn, the sunflowers, the sugar beet, uh, is that all I did? One, two, three, four. Oh yeah, yeah. Those things I just said. So the oats in 45 and 46 are going to come in July. So let's take a peek at the sales. Nope, nothing I need. This one is purely a sunflower header, which would be nice, but I would much rather have a sunflower slash corn header. So I don't have to worry about having multiple different ones. Um, and that's... That's fine. So I think time wise, we're good to skip ahead till tomorrow. Uh, let me double check the chickens. I think they need food. Yeah, they're at 175. So they need they need food. They don't take much. Uh, 
Actually, I'm just going to leave this in here, because we're going to scoot ahead a few more months and then probably need to fill the chickens again. Okay, everything off? Everything's off, good. Alright, uh, I don't think there's anything else I need to do this month. I think we're good. I think. Just double checking. I think we're good. So yeah, let's uh let's zoom ahead to June. What was my June sale? Soybeans, I think. Yeah, soybeans is my June sale. So currently we are at thirty two hundred in Goldcrest Rally or twenty eight hundred in Feed and Grain South. So let's zoom ahead and see what that's gonna look like. Thirty-four and three hundred, or yeah, thirty-five, thirty-two, thirty-six, thirty-four, four, forty-one hundred in Goldcrest Valley. That's pretty good. Let's do a little bit more, because I think they're supposed to go up some more. Yeah, thirty-six, twenty-four in Feed and Grade South. 42, 42, 40, 42, 40. Alright, let's slow down for a sec. Let's check the sales. What do we got? Um, ooh, we have a, a nice big cedar for sale. Oh, you son of a... The forklift. The forklift that I just bought new. I wasn't even aware that modded stuff went in here. At least I didn't quite fully realize. So that forklift I just bought for full price is now on sale for half price. I could potentially resell and buy the used one, save a little bit of money, but it's not its not that big of a deal. A uh, cheap water tank would be kind of nice. And the cedar would be kind of nice because this is a massive upgrade to my existing cedar, which is only a 4 meter working width, and that one's like 12, something like that. Uh, I think I have to buy it. I think I have to buy it. I was kind of waiting for something like that to go on sale, either this one specifically, because this is low horsepower, high working width, or uh, I think there's um, I think there's another cedar that's kind of sort of close, but most of the other ones are uh, direct seeding. So you don't need to plow, and most of them are much lower working width. I think this is the biggest at eight. Oh no, this one looks like it's not a direct, and it's also much bigger. But yeah, of the biggest machines, six and eight, that can be that can seed directly without plowing ahead of time, which is fine. It saves you an extra an extra pass, but they also require a lot higher horsepower tractors. So getting this one, 12, 12 meter working with fairly low horsepower requirement, is definitely nice. I could potentially deal with the Amazon, because I, I haven't used this one before, but this one's nice. Unfortunately, we've got it on our multiplayer one, so I don't get as much variety, but I can't pass up the price. Hi. Hi, Q. Hi. How are you? Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Hi, Katie. How are you? I have kitty. 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 Uh, let's see. So yeah, I think we'll do that. And I might also get this, because I'd like to do animals somewhat soon. Although I might pass on this. I don't know, hard to say for sure. Because if I do animals soon, I'd still be working in relatively low volumes. But, uh, let's see. No, uh, animals. An animals. And Anim animal. There we go. Um, that's this one here. Which is 8,000 liters. Otherwise, the next step up is 32,000 liters, because there isn't really any in between. Um, so I would to get this, I would need a semi. 
So I would need another 180,000 investment. Gila, stop. <clears throat> so maybe this is a good a good investment to start off with because that would open up the option of doing greenhouses and various animals that need water, stuff like that. So maybe we do do that. Maybe. This one's for sure. Wheel setup, I don't think it has any real relevance. Let's go with Michelin. Sure, why not? And then this one, our options are basically shiny, shinier, or black shiny. Shiny, shinier, or black shiny. Hmm. Let's go all out with the full chrome. And then do we want chrome rims to go all out? Or maybe maybe the black would look good. Let's do the black. We can always recolor it later. That's 4,000 extra bucks to get a paint on that. Oh no, it's just 4,000 extra bucks for the chrome. Ah, okay. Well then we're gonna do the base silver, cause why not? And then we'll buy that. I don't need it at the moment, but planning ahead. This still makes me sad. Um, in fact, how much is mine worth currently? I can sell it for 22 and buy it for 13. <laughs> it's also got 12 working hours on it, so I don't know how that affects it, if anything. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, look how beat up it gets. You can see on this one for sure the paint job gets real funky. So if I were to do this the same colors as I did before... Yeah, the paint gets really messed up. Which is fine. Gives a little bit of a wear to it. But no, I'll keep mine. It's only an extra 7,000. Well, it's, it's an extra 9,000 I could be saving. Hmm... You know what? I'll do it. Let's uh let's do this one. With safety warning, wheel brand, trailer hitch. All right, so we'll we'll buy that. And then I will get in this one and we'll take this one back. Because I believe you get more for delivering it and selling it at the place rather than uh, selling it from your menu. So selling it from the menu is... 22.9. Let's see what we're going to get when we bring it to the shop. And then we'll drive back the other one. This is nice and shiny though. I like it. But the other one, the value, can't help it. You know, the bits built on these things is not good. Leaning helps a little bit. But not much. So the soybeans have capped out 4300 4, at Goldcrest Valley. So I think we just got to take that price because we're losing way too much at Johnson's Farmer Market. So 22.9 is what we sell at the menu price for. And here. We can sell for 25.2. And if I repaint, 26.99. So, 
Yes. Alright. Let's see how much this thing needs to be repaired. I'll leave the paint as is. Give it a little bit of a wear look. And then we'll use this to bring back the water, the empty water container. Not quite the right tool for the job, but it'll, it'll do. It's always a longer journey than I remember. Okay, so we are here. Uh, I don't have any need for this directly, so we're just gonna... We're just gonna, I don't know, park it in the shade? Failed at parking. Failed at parking dollies again. Alright. That can just be parked right there. And you can take residence up where the old one was. The, the new one. Yes, you're the old one. that little bit of shuffle is over. Uh, let's dump this. I don't know exactly why I did that. My brain wasn't quite firing at all cylinders there. Uh, let's take this trailer. I think I have to do that with the other tractor. the soybeans in here. Right. I parked a trailer here. Scoot. Scoot. Trailer. Scoot. Alright, so we're taking the soybeans. All of them. All of them? Yeah, all of them. And we're going to be taking them to Goldcrest Valley. So again, my closest train depot is down here. Yeah, let's go do that. Scoot, trailer, scoot.
I totally forgot music again. It's fine. Okay, uh, next turn further up. Yeah. All right, so I have, I still have a lot of cash. I've spent a lot just now, but I still have a lot of cash. Mm -hmm. Excuse me, I have a lot of cash, and I part of me wants to buy more land because we can afford something like fifty-six. But another part of me wants to start buying up some productions because we're going to have multiple crops incoming of different varieties. So we're going to have sunflowers, which we could get uh, the oil production plant. We're going to have sugar beets, so we could do sugar. Um, we're going to have oats, so we could do um, flour, flour milling and bread. We're going to have corn, but I don't think corn can be used directly for any one specific thing. Uh, another option is we could use silage. We can. Um, harvest the corn for silage instead of actual corn. Not quite sure I'm ready for that. I've got the baling equipment for that, but I don't know if I have the... I don't have any of the harvesters for that, which is quite a hefty intake for all that. That... Hmm. Took that a little too sharp. Gila. Shush. Shush. So I'm not quite sure exactly which one I want to do next, if if not multiple. But let's park here, get the train incoming. The train is currently 22 freaking kilometers away. Okay, well, that's fine. We're just going to wait for it. We're going to wait for it right here. I don't know which way it's going to come from. Probably this way. Because it's currently off map, so I have no idea where it is currently. We're just going to wait for it. Um, so yeah, which, which one are we going to do? So we've got... Let's recap the crop types. So we've got oats, which we can do flour. Um, and then bread. We've got sunflowers, so we can do oil. We've got sugar beets, so we can do sugar, or we can sell them uh, directly as is, uh, or we can chop them up and sell them that way. I think the chopping technically is a pretty decent boost in price. Um, so we could just simply chop them and sell them, because uh, we've got sugar beet at 300 a liter or 300 for 1,000 liters, or we've got cut sugar beets for 400 plus. So we've got different options for sugar beet processing as is, and then we could also switch to sugar, which, uh, wherever you are, sugar, uh, upwards of 1,600 per. Um, I just don't know what the conversion rate is on that. So, I mean, usually converting it into a production material is good. I just don't know where that where that uh, conversion number is at. Um, and we do have the option of cereal, but I believe cereal is more like breakfast cereal, not cereal grains. So I'm pretty sure that that number, uh, or that, that product requires a whole bunch more stuff. Hey, there's the train. Hey, how you doing? I'm inside of the train now. Very much inside of the train now. Okay, there we go. So, I'm trying to find my cereal listing. I had all these... No, I don't have that right anywhere. Cool, I'll have to go find that. There is uh, a few graphs on how to do all the various productions. Some of them from farm sim uh, giants themselves, some of them from other people. But either way, they're very helpful to figure out where everything goes. Okay, so we've got... Ah, right here. Start filling. Soybeans are full. Just shy of 12,000 liters. Not a huge crop, but it's still 
decent enough, especially for a small farm when I when I first harvested it. And then yes. Perfect. Fifty-one thousand. So fifty thousand almost even after the thousand dollar rental fee for the train. Pretty good. That's what I have been sitting on for almost a full year at this rate. So let's see where everything is before I think too hard on this. Uh, so we've got over here, grapes. Down here we've got carpentry. Feed and grain cells are just one of the straight cell points. Gila. Stop. 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 Uh, over here we've got the biomass. West grain silos. Cereal and dairy are over here. Uh, let's see. Biogas plant. We got the bowling restaurant. Uh, I never, I never see them anywhere. I wonder what they buy. They probably buy produced goods. We got the spinnery up here. Grain mills all the way up there. Sawmill, sawmill, farmer's market. So it doesn't look like we have a sugar factory. I don't I don't think I see a sugar factory. We've got a bakery, but no sugar factory. Which means I'm going to need to buy that and place it somewhere. Yeah, I don't I don't see sugar. I don't see sugar anywhere. So we've got oil, we've got cereal, we've got dairy. Uh, so, oils here, dairy, cereal, uh, and then we've got uh, grain mill and bakery. And grape. So we're missing sugar. Uh, we have carpentry, so we've got we've got bakery, we've got carpentry, we've got dairy, we've got grain, we've got spinnery. We don't have tailor, we don't have sugar. Um, we've got cereal, we've got oil, and grape, and then all of these are just a duplication of all those in different forms. Now, we also have stuff like this that I was planning on using at some point, but I'm not worried about it yet. So if I'm gonna do sugar, let's see where sugar is. Uh, sugar is eighty thousand, and it's friggin' big. So I'd need a lot of land for that. So I think sugar's out just because I don't really have the land for it, and I don't have a place where I want it to go. So that narrows it down to oil, which I think is near here. Oil straight ahead, or maybe uh, grain and bakery hmm I think oil might be the next best I don't have all that much sunflower to go into it though but I think it will cut the sugar beet because that sells for more so we'll, we'll get a sugar beet cutter option So this is the oil up here. And you drop off stuff there and buy the stuff and do the things. Let's see what we've got for a price. Oil factory here is 80,000. Okay, so I got, I got a plan for that. Oh, I can't actually go that way. All right. I think that's actually the end of the map. It just looks like it goes on for a while, which is always good design. Anything back here? I can steal your bucket. I don't think I want your bucket. Yeah, this is the end of the map. It kind of stops you right here. So yeah, I think I'll buy oil. I think that might be a good, a good bet. 
because I wanted to get into production. I do want to eventually get the sugar, but I'll need to plan for a place for it. sugar beet cutting option I'm aware of is this one. I'm sure there's another one. I just don't know what it is. But still gonna need to get this. I've got the front loader for it so it's relatively minimal cost. And I can use it as a bucket for other stuff. I just don't, don't turn on the sugar beet cutting option or you end up chopping up whatever's in there. Um, yeah, oil. And then maybe I might also do grain and bread because those are always good options. But that's going to be upwards of almost 300000 to buy all, all three of those things. So I don't know if I want to pace it. I can always store the grains for later. But I think we're good for the moment. Alright, so we sold the honey. We sold the soybean. We're in June, and we still need to make it to uh, July for my first harvest of oats. So I, I might fast forward to that in just a moment here, and then we'll do an oat harvest. I just want to get the, um, the honey pallet out of here. I told myself I'd stop using um, super strength wherever possible as soon as I get the tools to manage things. So we're gonna. We're gonna do these things the right way. Assuming it cooperates, there we go. stay on the shelf. Thank you. Thank you. Alright, are we good? Are we good? When was silage again? I can never remember. Well, we got a good fertilizing job to do. 56? Hey! 56 is right by. We'll take it. We'll go ahead and set off a little red to do that. does. I might actually be able to bring back that other cedar as well with this one trip. It'll be handy. Alright, so we'll do this quick fertilizer and then we'll skip ahead to July and do our first, our, our oat harvest. This might be the last round of harvest with my current harvester because uh, it's, it's on the small side of things. We'll see how much I take in. I think I'd like to replace it though with something a little bit, uh, a little bit beefier. If there is a good sale next month, before we do the harvest, I think I will trade it in right then. But uh, it'll, it'll have to... I'll have to see. Nope. Not the right worth. Not the right width. There we go.
unfortunately it's next to impossible to see where you've been half the time. But I think we'll manage. Let's see, how bad did I do? I did great! I just got a little bit uh, in the middle that I knew I was missing. Right around here? Yeah, close enough. There we go. Contract done. Perfect. Pretty sure I have the trailer hitch in the back of this thing, so let's find out. Yeah. That'll do. Just to move it. Don't need to use it. Okay, then we can finish out that contract, get a little bit more money. Good. That's the kind of stuff I was doing in my spare time, except for like 20 or 30 of those. So all, all the work that you see on the field, all, all of the, uh, the fertilizing, all of the dead weeds, all that stuff, that's all me. I'm the only one working in this place. No one's doing their own jobs. Okay, let's see. Just snatch them all up. I think we need some repairs, so let's do some repairs. I think the fertilizer also needs repairs. Actually, it's not too bad. We'll repair it anyway. You need repairs. Tractor? Tractor. Alright. Everything's, everything's good. I think I'll park this thing next to the cedar that's over here. Or the, the planter. So now we have a blue cedar and a blue planter. Okay, so uh, I never did look at the silage price uh, January, so yeah, don't want to be selling it in the June-July time frame because that's their absolute rock bottom. So we'll wait. I have I have these silage bales here. These are the ones that I did a couple episodes ago at this point. Um, not much, but still, it's there. One thing I would love to do, and this will probably be once a harvest is happening for those things, which is next, actually. Uh, I think this needs to go. Dealing with the tiny bales, I think that just needs to not happen anymore. And I'd love to swap out for a bigger one. I just don't know exactly which yet. So I'd like to see, wait and see what's on sale. But we'll see. We'll see. That's a nice big trailer. I like it. A little bit, uh, a little bit on the pricey side for me currently. And I don't necessarily need 52,000 liters worth of stuff at the moment. I don't have that much liters of anything currently. 
So I think we're ready to skip ahead. Let's do a proper sleep this time. See if we can get the seasons and everything to grow. Look at those oats. Those nice and pretty oats. They're ready to... Almost ready to grow. So do a sleep. And there they are. There's oats, ready to go. So, first off, sails. Um, a slurry container, all right. And a multi-row. It says it's built to harvest the, um, the indicated crop types. Uh, but this is a sugarcane harvester, which is, which is nice. I mean, it's a nice price. I don't know if I'm ready to start sugarcane yet, but it's a nice price. It's unfortunate that this showed up now, because I would have totally jumped on that any other time. And this is a slurry tank that I don't need yet. Man, that's tempting, actually. Because, uh... Because, yeah, it would be nice. It would be nice to be able to do some sugarcane. But again, I don't have that sugar processing plant, so... Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I hate to let it go, but I gotta let it go. Okay, so there's no other harvester. We have Swath going. Swath is on. Dr. D Dub with a rating party of 12. Howdy, Doc and friends. How y'all doing? Farming's going good. It caught me just in time for my harvest of oats. I'm doing oats. And try not to run over my chickens. How's it going, Doc? What were you playing? I didn't get a chance to see your notice. Because I think I went live earlier than you. It really is. It's it's nice. Oh, except for that dirty part. Don't worry about that part. It's fine. We'll go in here. We'll watch the pretty stuff. More timber boring. Nice. As much as I would love to play city builders like that, I am god awful at them. Valuna back with the violence. Okay. My ability to turn around in this place is a little bit slim. to know. Hard is hard. Uh, I mean, I should have expected that. Also, Baluna, I've already tried. You can't run over locals. Nothing happens. They just phase right through.
This is my solo map. We were doing some Icarus earlier, but we ended that mission, and uh, the group I play with tends to be a little bit more early. So they, they called it early, and this has become our Monday tradition. Do either zombie jumping or Icarus on Monday, and then uh, jump to my solo farm after that. my load. I had the UI off, but I'm like, wait a second, this could fill up at any moment. You know, I almost can't justify swapping out my baler just yet. It's unfortunate. But I want to swap out my baler. Murder and pillage. I think you're on the wrong game, Belina. Just, just maybe. <laughs> this is certainly Alex. Hello, welcome. I, I am positive that you are Alex. Um, there, there's basically... It's not all driving back and forth across wheat. However, it is almost all driving back and forth across fields doing various things. Uh, it's just very in-depth about how you're taking care of your fields. So there's... Um, there's plowing, there's cultivating, there's fertilizing, there's weeding, there's uh, doing um, pesticide, or there's, there's doing herbicides, there's no pesticides, thankfully, but there's doing herbicide, there's doing liquid fertilizer, solid fertilizer, uh, you can spread manure, you can spread slurry, you can um, spread lime to increase the quality of the crops, and it's all about making sure that your crops are doing the best possible yield. So you're driving back and forth across your field a good half dozen times per crop before it even grows to make sure that it's as good as it possibly can be. And that is just the fields, as Doc said. There's also taking care of animals. Um, so there's, there's chickens, there's cows, there's sheep, uh, pigs, and then horses. Each one of them has different requirements to take care of and get various um, products out of. So chickens produce eggs relatively easy to take care of um, but you got to make sure that you have enough food for them so you typically have to have you know a a grain field of some kind that can produce enough food for them uh, there is a lot of work to it Alex but it, it's it's fun and satisfying work as you said you watch someone play mowing simulator for 20 minutes so you know, there, there is some element of satisfaction to getting these jobs done, or even just watching them get done. Uh, similar to Power Wash Simulator, um, just the, the clean lines going back and forth across the fields, it's, it's satisfying to do, it's satisfying to watch. And thank you for that follow. I appreciate it. I did not give myself enough room on this side of the field do some turning. I should have I should have done that, but it's fine. <laughs> it was kind of sort of a dancing dinosaur llama, yeah. Um if I recall it originally started off as a pear with a giant mouth and then it kind of evolved from there into various other forms. So dancing dinosaur llama, sure, that's, that's close enough.
Oopsie doodle. Okay, so that's another problem. I was not paying close enough attention, and uh, my harvester filled up and automatically turned itself off, and I was still set in full forward mode. So I did accidentally drive over and destroy a little bit of my crops. My bad. I did not intend to. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> uh, this game does not feature beaver societies, unfortunately. There might be a mod for that. This game does have a pretty sizable modding community, but I don't recall beaver societies. No, oh, Doc, you couldn't even 100% it, because one of the big draws of this game is the modding community. So as soon as you 100%ed this, this map, you would have another map that has its own customizations to it that you'd have to start over on. <laughs> Introduce Beaver Mod and Rule the Universe. That's a good goal. Yeah, there's a lot of significant detail that make this game really immersive. And I, I did ruin some of my crops, so that was my fault. I screwed it up. So I lost, I mean, I probably lost a couple hundred bucks worth of crop right there, which is unfortunate. But it happens. And, amusingly enough, this map is based in uh, the Midwest, USA, and more specifically, it's based in Minnesota, where I happen to be from. So I thought that was kind of amusing. Even, the, uh, even down to the detail of the license plates, whenever you buy a tractor, this license plate is the Minnesota license plate. It just happens to not say Minnesota on it. You grew up in Champlin. Nice. Hello, fellow Minnesota-er. Oops. I got that car waiting for me. I left my tractor parked in the middle of the road. Uh, you get to hold your horses, buddy. You're not smart enough to go around. Default is one hour to one hour, like real time. Um, but you can change it in base game at least. You can change it anywhere from uh, half speed to up to 120 times speed. 
I have a mod that lets you go up to 25,000 times speed for those times when you just don't feel like waiting. But yeah, you can you can absolutely play real time and spend a whole lot of time waiting for stuff to happen. But there's also sleeping, so you can sleep for you know until the entire next day or next month, whichever. Um, it is one day per month um, by default, and you can extend that out to up to 28 days a month. So if you want to play real time with near real month lengths by all means go for it. You're just gonna be spending a whole bunch of time in game. Alright, last little swath here. I probably could have spaced that a little bit better, but but I didn't. So that's the end of that story. Uh, yes, uh, the crops, so Seasons is, Seasons was previously a DLC. I think it was a free DLC for the previous game, but there was also a mod for Seasons. Uh, it's now base game, so in this version of base game, uh, crops can be planted and harvested at different times of the year. And there's also snow that can happen in winter. Um, different seasons, different months have uh, different chances of rain. And if you harvest in the rain, you lose a significant amount of your crops because it's just not good to harvest in the rain. Um, fall colors, leaves change, that kind of fun stuff. But primarily, it's planting schedule and snow possibility, with a little bit, little bit of weather. Hey, buddy, you sure you want to be parked there? Cause uh, I'm not driving well. Are you driving well? This specific harvest is done. Hello, how are you? How are you doing? Okay in there? Good waiting? Alright, this gets to be put away for a little bit. Another use for it coming up fairly soon, but uh, for right now it can stay in the garage. So we only got 7,400 liters out of that, out of that field, but oats are a low yield crop. So if I were to, for example, put this into the, um, the uh, flour mill, I would be able to get a significant amount of flour out of it because it's a, a low yield, high quality crop. But for right now, we're just going to store it in a silo until I can do something with it. Probably until I can get the grain mill. Actually, hang on. Why am I saying until I get the grain mill? I can get the grain mill right now. Let's go visit it. So this is the grain mill. And I think I'm going to open up some production. Let's see what else we have around here. Grain mill, we got a delivery around the back. Oh, collectible. Little, little pink trailer in a box. Anything up? Up? No, nope, nothing up there? Okay. Alright, let's see how much this thing costs. It's probably going to cost an arm and a leg. $96,000 for the grain mill. Sure, we'll do it. Why not? All right, so let's get this thing filled right back up again. Mm -hmm. 
and we'll take this to uh, the thingy-mobobber with the stuff in the things. Yeah. So we're gonna go up to here, and we're down here. I need to go this away. Oh, that's good. That's a pretty drive. I'll go do that. Uh, before I go do that, I have this thing I need to take care of. Now nah, we'll get this delivered first because this needs to start cooking as soon as possible. Yeah, absolutely. Got to make some who's it's and what's it's. Hello, smooth agent. Welcome. You know, I could be using my wheel. Why am I not using my wheel? I should be using my wheel. Let's use my wheel. Here, let's get this guy set up to go that way. Get driving, please. Drive. Drive. Target is unreachable. I think you're a liar, sir. Let's try again. Drive. Fine. 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 Let's, uh... Grab the wheel. Weekend was good, Smooth Agent. How was your weekend? weekend. It's cold as balls here. Ooh, can I fit in here? can fit in here, right? It was... Okay, so it felt like I was not going to be able to fit through there as well. But I fit through there just fine. I fit just fine. Alright, carry on. Ah, dick. I'm going here. Yeah, the NPC drivers in this are ruthless. They do not give two shits about your existence. They are ruthless, they are unforgiving, they are impatient. I hate them. I hate them so much. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna deliver my goods. This gets delivered here. I don't remember which button does it, so we're just gonna push this button to unload. And then, we're gonna set off the, uh... Oh, it's already running. Good. So, we have 7,400 liters of oat. We already have 4 liters of flour. Uh, the conversion rates are all different. So, wheat is 150 to 120. Barley is 150 to uh, 113. Oat is 150 to 188. So, you get more total out of the flour. And then sorghum is a little bit better. So we're going to do oat flour. We're going to get a whole bunch of oat uh, flour out of the deal. And then when this is all done, or when I have enough to deliver, I will go buy the bread factory 
sorry, the bakery. And uh, we'll start turning all that flour into bread. So currently the flour prices are 114, give or take. The oat prices are also 114, give or take. So we're getting more flour out of the deal. So we're actually turning this 114 into something like 118. It's guesstimating. so much detail. I love that they added the production chains in this version because that's a whole new ball of wax that didn't exist before except for in mods. But there are some quirks and problems with it. And I'm trying to get cut at some slack but I'm reporting all the problems I find so that hopefully they'll fix it and make it better. What's this? What's this? It's nothing. It's just a pretty decorative loading zone for loading that doesn't need to happen. Okay, cool. That's fine. Uh, let's see. Do we want to take a different way back? What other ways back do we have? So we went this way, which is kind of the fastest way. We have this way through the through, through the trees, over the river, and through the woods. Uh, we have this long path here through the freeway. Go this way. See what's up here. We'll go up. We'll go up through here. See what this little building is. Go this way. Weave down through the neighborhood. Take the long scenic route home. Cause why the hell not? It seems it's a, it's a whole lot better to see everything in third person. A lovely bridge. Going over a lovely bridge for a lovely creek. I don't necessarily understand the purpose of these fields. They're here. They're plowed. They're for sale. But they're absolutely god-awful to attempt to actually do farming on. I don't know. I don't know how anyone would do that. Is that... Is that a corn maze? That looks like a corn maze. Alright. That is very... That's a very Minnesotan thing to do. Midwest in general. Uh, can we go up there? That looks like a place we can go up. Let's get out. Let's go out and take a look. Let's get out and take a look. Uh, go up. Go up. Get out. Get up. Eh. Unfortunately, the character is slightly thicker than a lot of these stairs, so they're really hard to navigate. I have a feeling there's a collectible at the end of this rainbow. Hey, there's a collectible at the end of this rainbow. It's a tractor. Lovely little, um, lovely little hideaway up here. I like it. I like it. So, corn maze. <laughs> Character being thicker than the stairs also seems like a Midwestern thing. <laughs> you are not wrong. Alright, uh, I see something there, right in the center of my, my crosshair circle thingy there. So, I am not going to be able to do this maze. <laughs> you tried a new sim called Twin Simulator. You play a streamer with the long hair and a nice beard. Managed stream chat it was fun until the game interdicted character. Name Agent Doom. <laughs> hitting, hitting with a bad pun and song references. Yup, that sounds sounds like a great game. All right, so we have a we have a beat up old uh, barn thing there. This is lovely up here. Look at that over there. I 
Okay, can I... Can I... I, I cannot. Can I... Hook! Whee! Alright. Corn maze. Start. Corn maze rules. No cussing. Remember, the corn has ears. No running in the maze. If lost, do not panic. A team of experts uh, searches the maze every other Thursday. Nice. Nice. Alright, uh, so if I recall, it was something like this away. I'm running in the maze. I'm running in the, ma I'm running in the maze. Oh, God. Alright, we're, we're just going straight through. I saw something this away. Hey, look, it's a thing. It's a collectible. That, that sounded like a corny joke right up your alley, Smooth Agent. Just saying. Uh, oh, we have another collectible. Someone tried to burn it. It did not take. Anything else in here? No? Okay. Okay, uh, so we are here. I need to go this way. Need to go this way. I need to go this way. I need to go this way. little uh, area up here. And then we have a neighborhood. Alrighty Doc, have yourself a good night. Thanks for the uh, thanks for the raid and thanks for hanging out. to go this way and this way that ah. hello car all right so now that we've got production check in here and we can just keep an eye on it it goes pretty quickly though so we've got 150 liters already so another what 10 hours <laughs> we'll, have, we'll have a, a full pallet but that'll process really quickly as we start speeding up time what's a uh, random traffic cone all right that's fine I didn't do it actually I probably did do it So we're just going to put you here. Uh, looks like I have another pallet to work with.
Works fairly well. Oh, that egg pellet is almost done. Good chickens. Good chickens. All right, so uh, the next thing I'd like to do is I'd like to clean out my um, my baler, the little bitty one. So we'll clean that out. I'll just pick up just enough straw to get that thing emptied out. I am fancy in my new forklift. I like my new forklift. So this thing is going to get sold, but I want to get that last bit of straw out of there. So we're just going to turn it on just enough to get a bale made. Let's see, yeah, this little bit here. Let's see, how how gently can I do this? Oh, looks like this will be fine. I just need to fill it up. Bail made. Turn you off. Empty that one little bitty bail. Plop. Okay, so now I have a decision to make. The decision is, what baler do I want? And do I want to wait for a sale? Or do I just want to buy a good baler? Uh, so we have plenty of options. The current one that I've got is this one. And it can only do 125 centimeter round bales and it will wrap any of the grass ones that come out of it. So I could use this for straw. Um, it would just constantly be bouncing back and forth between straw and grass, um, make it a little bit tricky to juggle which one's which. The other option is um, I can, I could get something like this, which could potentially do bigger round bales, but doesn't wrap. Uh, or I can go all in with a really, really, really big one. I, th I think I'm not ready for that just yet. Um, so I'm kind of on the fence between just using the one that I've got and just dealing with the quantity or the, the straw type challenge. So, you know, if it's got three quarters of straw in there and I go collect grass, that grass that I collect is going to finish that straw bale and leave it as straw. So I'll lose some grass, but then I'll lose some straw the next time around. So it kind of balances itself out. Um, I think that might be my best option for now. And then wait until I can go all in on a really big one. Because I want either this one or this one. Both of which are stupidly expensive. There are a couple options in between, but not very many. This is probably the only other one that would give me a, a benefit over my current setup. This is a nice starter one, but it just doesn't, doesn't hold its own for very long because of all the bales that you have to juggle. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and take this one back now that I've emptied it out. And then we'll come back and do the other baler, the round one for now. <laughs> Bunch of forklifts on an open map and you stack as much as you can before the time runs out. I I could I could see that being interesting. Hey, hey, hey. Jerk. Just tried to run me off the road.
Yep, I'm just gonna go ahead and sell this. I should have brought the other thing I wanted to sell, but I totally forgot about it by the time I got here. Um, but it's fine. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna repair and repaint, get as much money out of it as we can. Fifteen thousand return. So, you know, it only costs twenty-two thousand to buy it. So I ended up spending about seven grand to use it for a long period of time, and I'm okay with that. And we're gonna go back empty-handed. Em empty tractor. Yeah, that's it. Excuse me. Chill. Silly kitty. Just jumped off my on my desk and bounced off my keyboard. Okay. So flowers going. Actually, that's not taking too terribly long at all. Uh, flowers going. Uh, the next thing that we've got coming is not until October. Although I might have a grass harvest in August or September. I don't know which one though. Alright, so we'll go ahead and grab my my grass baler. I believe there's enough grass in there right now just to get a full grass bale instead of having it converted to straw. Which is fine, because it's more it's worth more as silage anyway. So we're kind of padding out a silage bale with a little bit of excess straw. It's fine. It's 54%. I don't actually know what the threshold is for conversion. So we're just gonna have to find out. 54%. Nope, it turned it into straw. Damn, lost the silage bale. Oh well, it's fine. And you're not gonna wrap, right? Yeah, okay. So we'll turn on uh, a knife drop. So I don't have to think about it. Yeah, I think this is a fine solution for now. I'd love to get a bigger square baler at some point, and then a separate wrapper, just because they hold so much more material. But uh, this will do. This will do for the short term, and then I don't have to spend any more money. I spend a lot of money.
Hello kitty. Hello kitty, how are you kitty? Face noises, sir. Stop. Stop with the face kitty noises. Stop it. difficult to do this with kitty. Really difficult to do this with the kitty. Uh, hey the kitty. How you doing the kitty? Hey good. He's good. He's good. <laughs> As he jump kicks off on me. What's the sell price for straw looking like? 107, 102, and worst possible time to sell it right now. So we're gonna store it. I don't know, I don't know where we're gonna store it, but somewhere. gonna get another bail. So damn close. Alright. Well that's fine. We'll just turn it off so it doesn't beep. Stop beeping. And we've got 92% of a straw bail. So, you know. It's probably gonna remain straw after I pick up some grass, which is fine. It's fine. Okay. So, let's uh... I'm gonna get that stuff off the field. gonna do that before we can work the field. So we ended up with, what is that, three, six, we got nine bales, plus the uh, tiny little bitty guy. do this tractor and we'll do that trailer are we ready is this, is this ready I think this is ready to harvest we could do a do around the grass to finish off the night as we tend to do
Yeah, I do realize now that I have that bale loader trailer. Hmm. Maybe we'll do it the easy way right now. I, th I think it'll it'll just be it'll just be easier to work with. We'll drag this thing out into the open here. Yeah, can I cooperate? Can I, can, I, can I cooperate? That's close enough. Alright, so you are currently set for... I'm not gonna... not gonna tell me? Operating position, transport position. It's not gonna tell me. I wonder if that script broke. Because I don't see any options for what type of bail, but we'll see. We'll see if it works. Touch in operating position. Nope, I did not want to grab those. I, uh, whoops. Let's, um, let's undo my mistake here. Turns out it works. Go figure. Perfect. Okay. So, reset, operating position. do this the easy way for now, but I think I want to just use regular transport methods. The bail loader is nice if you're dealing with like a multiplayer situation or you've got so damn many that you can't even stomach to look at it. I missed them right there. But I think for most of my needs, this will be fine. This little one's not going to pick up because it can only handle one type of bail at a time. Like that. Okay, so where am I going to put them? I think just right next to there will be fine. Yeah, let's, uh, let's do that. Let's do this by hand for now. Merp. This little guy. Put put you right on top. Right, right, uh, right there. Perfect. Yeah, I might end up doing away with this trailer just because I want to be able to move the bales manually. I think that might be more fun overall. But when in a hurry, it's kind of nice to have the option. So maybe maybe we keep it tucked away in the corner here. 
for those moments when I just don't feel like doing it. Uh, grass, I think I'll mow on my own time. Because we've seen grass mowing enough. So that's that's fine. Alright, anything else I need to worry about doing? Because we got to take care of this field. To get it, and we can do some work to get it prepped. Uh, it doesn't need anything on it at the moment. Because I can't plant anything until next month anyway. Uh, so we could do canola next. Or we could do wheat and barley. Canola can go into the oil. So that's a thing. So we'll have sunflowers harvested here turned into oil. And then the canola will come up half a year later. And also be ready to turn into oil. So that might be a, that might be nice. So maybe this field can be canola next. We just got to get it ready before August. So let's start that process. Let's, um, yeah, let's start that process. We'll um, go get the mulcher, get this thing mulched up. the one that I couldn't tell for the life of me what the difference between the two textures was. I think that might be the case. We'll find out. Let's go ahead and put it down. Oh no, that's not too bad. Relatively easy to tell apart. that little bit of straw, but it's fine. Bird, watch out, you're gonna get mulched. Good. Good, you didn't get mulched. does mulch all the grass, which is fine. It gets rid of it, but uh, it gives a better yield next time. I'm pretty positive. Haven't tested it thoroughly, but I'm pretty sure it does. Because it counts it as being mulched. So, I don't know. It's hard to tell with the meadow grass. The meadow grass kind of has different, different behaviors than the regular planted grass. So, I think it gives a better result, but I'm not positive. So that's that.
Alright, so let's take a quick look at the field itself. Alright, so mulching's done. It does not need plowing, doesn't need lime. Not been fertilized at all. Uh, it doesn't have any weeds at the moment. And there's like those three stones there. So, uh, I'm gonna... I think I'm gonna do a cultivate quick. And then that's going to give me some stones, I believe. And then we'll do some stone picking. Don't necessarily need to do stone picking for the small stones, but I had those big stones I wanted to get out of that field anyway. So I figured, why the heck not? And then we'll have more stones for future purposes. I do have plans for those stones. Just not quite ready for it just yet. back and forth on this field. We'll be cultivating. I'm not entirely sure this is even bringing up small stones. I thought the cultivating was supposed to, but maybe the shallow cultivating doesn't. Either way, that's fine. We'll we'll get those stones out of there anyway. I was thinking that most of this farm here, all these little fields, can turn into building fields. Whether storage for equipment or production buildings or anything like that. So we could potentially put the sugar production on here, that kind of thing. That's long-term plans. Um, because I'd like to get a lot of the bigger fields and start working those. And then those littler fields will become less useful. But for right now, they're kind of my main source of income. So I think my next big purchase, aside from, you know, the production for oil and for grain and bread, I think will be a big piece of land. So don't be surprised if I end up with a huge chunk of cash again after doing more jobs, because I probably will end up doing more jobs. Yeah, not a single stone on here. Interesting. I wonder if they changed it. Um, because... Previously, cultivation always brought up stones. So they either changed it, or I was mistaken about shallow cultivation not bringing up stones. But I'm pretty sure they changed it, and maybe it's just the first time cultivation, 
or maybe it's it's turned into occasional like plowing because I know that was a concern that a lot of people brought up was that the stone picking seemed a little bit too constant so maybe maybe they changed that I don't know either way not nearly as many stones as I thought I'd get drag this across quick to pick up those handful. I need to move this guy. I need to move you. You're in my, you're in my way. You're in my way, and I don't know where to put you. Put you over in the pile with the rest of the trailers, I suppose. Maybe you can go in here. With this guy. Yeah, that'll do for now. Let's tuck him away into the forest. He'll be fine. needed just 23 liters of rocks <laughs> it almost feels like a shame not doing the rest of this field because it does a cultivation as well um, I probably could have used this to do my cultivating didn't even think about it I was just thinking about it in terms of picking up rocks I didn't think about it in terms of cultivation but yeah that's it that's 23 liters of rocks that's all I needed not not the best use of its time, but I have 47 that needs rock picking, and there's a couple in 50 as well. But I gotta wait till the crop is out of there, so it just is what it is. So we're gonna drop these off in the pile. The tiny amount goes into the pile. Four dollar wage payment. When did I when did I hire a worker in the last hour? Ah, whatever. It's fine. Uh, so we'll do Control I to offload those. Plop. Done. That's it. That's it. to your temporary home until I have a better place for you. Um, I think I was going to get rid of the subsoiler, but I might hold on to that now. Because I still have the plow. And the subsoiler and the plow are basically the same job. But I know the plow takes a lot more effort to pull. I don't know. I don't really need two different plow things unless I'm doing a large field and need to do you know, two tractors running at the same time. So maybe, maybe we'll hold on to that. At some point I'll probably end up swapping it out and have two plows or something like that. Because you don't want to do an entire large field with a single three meter plow. That's just, it's just not cool. But, yeah, I don't know. Alright. So, stones are gone. It's been mulched. It doesn't need lime plowing. It needs fertilizing badly. So I think the next step is to seed that with oilseed radish and uh, we'll cultivate that up at the uh, uh, tomorrow cultivate up the tomorrow and get the, the next crop planted in there which is going to be canola I almost forgot we're going to plant you right here up going to pick you up 
put this thing right back down again because I forgot I didn't need it. We're going to use my new cedar for this. It's a little overkill, but uh, I want to use it. Yeah, definitely a little overkill to get uh, just oilseed radish planted, but it's fine. All right, uh, we're gonna use we're gonna use the forklift. So hang on. Cause I have seeds. Forks are. Forks. Forks. Can I do can I do both? Can I reach both? I can. Can't really get them out of there easily, but I, I did it. Yeah, not built for this job. Not built for this job at all. But it'll be fine, uh, I think. I think I need to unfold it for this. I need to be able to reach that center container thing. Something, something's up with the bag drops. I don't know exactly what's up with them. There we go. <laughs> I was able to wiggle it off the end there a little bit. Alright, so that's all my seeds. Uh, it's not it's not a lot. Not enough to fill the thing, but it'll do for now. Let's get this overkill job done. Yeah, definitely, definitely overkill. That's tricky. I can't easily see when it takes this texture. Because that is a very fine difference between uh, the stubble tillage and the seeded stubble tillage. Very, very fine distinction. This angle is actually not that bad. Much more visible from this angle. Alright, we're gonna speed this up a little bit. But yeah, it's a nice cedar. I like it. I wasn't expecting to upgrade to this one so quickly. I was kind of expecting actually to uh, to do a couple a couple of the smaller ones and have just multiple tractors going at once but uh, this thing came up on sale and and that's, that's kind of what was my end goal if I didn't have any other options to do something different than the multiplayer so here we are we're doing it I 
Now I just need to check to see. Uh, go. There we go. And check to see if it's properly seating. Looks like it's properly seating. Thought I was missing a spot here or there. Radish is in. Did I miss a spot? Is that a spot that I missed? That looks like a spot I missed. We're gonna go even more overkill on the tiny spot I missed. Kill on a spot I missed, but it's fine. Oh, I had some more seeds back here. Ah, well, let's uh, let's grab those. Done. Yeah, I think I had emptied this one. Oh, I did empty this one. Okay, so this one's actually empty, empty. All right, well, that's fine. Maybe I'll have to swap out seeds between the two. Whatever, it's fine. All right, so I'm gonna drop that off. So that is the oilseed radish planted. We have our flower going. Actually, we have almost our first thousand liters of flower. All the other crops are just kind of waiting around for their turn. So I don't have anything else that I need to sell in the near future. We, our next major activity is cultivating and planting the canola in August and then essentially skip two months to go to October. Now what might end up happening with these jobs is there might be sure another job to do sure why not uh, there might be a big rash of harvesting jobs to do like this one um, and I might do all of them so don't be surprised if you come back and it's October and I have a whole bunch of grains in my pocket. So, that might happen. We'll see. I have that job for number 30. So I'm just gonna, gonna go ahead and get that started and we'll end the stream while that's happening. zoomy on me. Right, am I supposed to go between the fences here? I think I am. Yeah, that looks right. It's really narrow, but it's, it's there. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and fertilize this field. My goodness, cat. <laughs> Fucking zoom time, apparently. Alright, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and fertilize this field. We did uh, 
And we've finished an Icarus job. Mission. Quest. Drop. Whatever we're going to call it. Uh, and then uh, came over here. Harvested the oats. Sold off all the honey. Made some money. Bought some new stuff. Had a nice night. So. That'll be it for now. Whoever's still lurking out there, thank y'all for coming. Thank you for any subs and follows that I might have missed. And I'll see y'all next time. Bye.